Hey guys, it's Deborah from Timeless Jewel by Deborah. It's been a hot minute since I have done a Goodwill uh, Blue Box video. This is Nashville. I just received it. So there should be two boxes in here. I figured it was time to do another one. So there we go. Let me take oh, one box out. And we will open it and get a first look. And then what I'll do is I will go through it. So that way I save you guys time. Let's see. Okay. That way we can just look at what we got and we don't have to sit here and sort. All right, so this is Nashville. And here is first looks. And actually, maybe what I'll do is open that second one too. Because since they're both from Nashville, there could be a um, mix of, you know, earrings that are missing from that one. So let's open this one. And then we will sort detangle. All right, and here's the second one. Ooh, I'm liking this one. Oh, isn't that adorable? So cute. All right, you guys. I'm going to detangle, and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so these are the pieces that are not destroyed. These are sellable and wearable. We have some fun ones. This is a vintage Hallmark, and it's signed down here, Polly. It's really difficult to see, but right there. And these sell for pretty good money. So what I'm going to do is clear everything off, and we will go through, and I'll give you prices. All right, you guys. All right, so we are going to do this probably in two parts. There's a lot of nicer jewelry that came out of these two boxes. So this is Nashville. So this first piece is a gold tone with green glass and cat's eye multi-strand necklace. It is a little knotted, so I will definitely try to get that unknotted for you. I'll give you quick measurements, and I'll give you guys prices as we go. So the lowest on this one is 18 inches. It is a really pretty necklace. Let's do that one for three. Okay. Then we've got, oh, this is so sweet. Look at the horse. Oh, I absolutely love this. This is like by Luvada Horse, or Luvada, it's a horse bracelet. Silver tone. Measures in at a seven and a half. That is really pretty. Let's do that for three. Okay. Then we've got a multi length, or excuse me, a <laughs> station necklace, gold tone. These are plastic. They are in a gray color. Let me get you the measurement on this. It is a nice looking necklace. It is 48 inches long. Let's do that for three. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Little coral, faux coral, um, and rhinestone. This is costume. Pretty little necklace. Nice silver tone chain. It is about 17 inches. Let's do that one for three. All right. Let's go with this fun leather bracelet. It's got a couple rhinestones here. <clears throat> it is adjustable. Let's do that one for two. How about a pair of earrings? These are fun. I like these. These are plastic. Now these look more of a turquoise color. And they are plastic. Cute earrings. Let's do those for two. I like this one. This is plastic heavy duty bangle bracelet with like a glitter inside. That's kind of cool. So it fit about an eight. And, and let me get you the measurement across. It's about two and three quarters. Um, I have a very large hand, so it won't fit over my hand. But if you have a skinny hand, it should fit well. That is really pretty. Let's do that one for five. It's in great condition. All right. Next up, we have a silver tone stretch for seizures. Now, this is great for people that need to alert people that they are prone to having seizures. 
So it's a larger size. Let's do that one for three. Here's another stretchy. I like this one, gold tone and silver tone. Stretch is pretty big. You can go anywhere from a six and a half up to about a seven and a quarter comfortably. Let's do that one for three. Okay, now we've got two. It says, be safe, have fun, don't be stupid, love mom. Oh my God, is that not hilarious? That is so funny. This is about seven inches and they are new. Yes, so I have two of them. These are funny. Let's do these uh, $5 each. Okay, then we have, oh, this is pretty. A, I'm not sure if it's genuine leather or faux leather. Snake skin, faux snake skin with a little heart. Isn't that a sweet little bracelet? And that'll fit most people. Let's do that for two. Okay, we have, let's see what this says. Faith in small as a mustard seed. There's the mustard seed. This, I believe, is a men's bra uh, bracelet. It is leather. It can be women's as well. About a size eight. Let's do that one for three. This is a fun necklace. Now, I am not sure what this is feels like a resin, but it is ethnic um, style. I love it. I think it's really cute. There is a little bit of wear right here, unless that's the way that it was made. I'm not positive on that. So this measures in at 22 inches total length. We can do that one for three as well. All right. Then we've got a brass with a it's supposed to look like it's layered but it is not inlaid um, there's a little a little chippy there bracelet it's a size eight we can do that for two dollars okay then we've got a stretch uh, that looks like freshwater pearl bracelet I did not test these for sterling they could be but I don't believe so. It looks like there's some of uh, the red coming, the copper coming through. So, for let's do that for two. All right. Then we have, you will always be my person. Okay. Does anyone know what TV show that is from? Anybody? Anybody? Meredith always said it. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Let's do that one for two. All right. Then we've got a fun Lucite. This is really pretty. I think this is sold at Kohl's. They are Lucite uh, dangles with gold tone, multicolor. I've gotten a lot of earrings in my thread up boxes that would match back to that. It is 18 inches. It's in good condition. Let's do that for three. Then we have a gold tone arrow bracelet. No maker's mark. It is pretty pliable. It sits at a seven. Well, let's do that for two. Okay, then we've got a stretch bracelet. Here's the back. It feels, maybe it's a faux leather. I'm not positive on that. This is definitely a faux stone. Let's do that for two. Might as well stick with the stretch bracelets. Oh, this is pretty. I like that with the rhinestones. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. It is adjustable. This one looks pretty well made. Let's do that one for three. Here's another one piece. Same material. These look like hematite balls here. There's the back. Let's do that one for three as well. All right. This is really nice. This is a lucky brand. Antique brass tone bracelet. Even the back looks pretty. It's got a tang tag right there. It is sort of adjustable. So it can measure in from a six and a half to a seven. It's in really nice condition. And let's do that at five. Oh, wait. oh, this is beautiful. Make sure all the rhinestones are there. Looks like, oh, nope, there's a missing rhinestone right there. 
and you can barely see it, but it is really pretty. I think there's just one missing stone. They sure do have a lot of sparkle. It's about a size seven. We'll put that in craft for $2. Another bracelet. This is a three strand twisted tricolor bracelet. I like that. It sits at a seven and a half about, and you can make it longer. That's nice. Let's do that for three. We did get another pair of earrings. These I love. Look at these. Oh, I love the material. They are clip-on. There is no maker's mark, and I could not find anything about these on Google Lens, but aren't they fantastic? I love that amber color to them, like a cognac amber color, um, but they are a lucite. Let's do those for, let's do five on those. Okay, then we've got a brooch. It is a butterfly. I'm not sure what the material is made out of. It feels like a metal, so it's probably a wire. And it looks like it's homemade. Let's do that for two. We got a lot of necklaces here. Oh, I did get one ring. So this is a faux, I think that's lucite. Antique copper tone, or brass tone, excuse me. It sits just under a size eight. It's a nice little ring. Let's do that one for two. All right. Oh, we did get a pair of earrings like these before. Um, we sold them at one of my live sales, so it's nice to have another pair because these are a fantastic pair of earrings. Let's do these glass ones for five. What a deal. All right. Then we got a pendant. It says Diva with a faux pearl. Looks like, no, no maker's mark. It's a cute little pendant. Let's do that for two. All right, okay, and this we had, this is that collectible piece, it's a hallmark. Now this is a plastic, but it is signed Polly, right there. Here's the back, now this does move somewhat, but it's still in great condition. Um, yeah, I was seeing these selling for about 45 online, so they are very collectible, so the condition's pretty good. Let's do this for eight. All right, another bracelet. This is a twisted rope with bead, so you can make it a little bit larger. It sits about a six and a half, pretty good condition. Let's do that one for three. All right, let's see if we can get a couple of these necklaces out. Oh, I like this one. I think this one's by Plunder. I remember seeing a tag as I was sorting. Okay, yes, it says Plunder Design. And here is the rhinestones. It looks like all of the stones are there. It is a necklace. It's got a key. And then... A little, oh, that's cute, with a little dress form. Some more keys. Here's the little plunder hang. So that's cute. I guess if you had a skinny enough waist, you could wear it as a uh, belt. But it is 34 inches, and that is a nice piece. Let's do the plunder for eight. Okay. Next up, I love this disc necklace. This is plunder as well. Love the peach and the cream and the soft olive green. Three strand. It is adjustable. Let me get you the measurement to where it sits right now. It's at 12 inch drop, so 24 inches, but it does have an extender. These are the colors. Let's do that one for five. Okay. Next up, we have faux pearls in pale peach, pale blue, pale um, pink. Well, that's more of a peach pink and blue with brass tone spacer beads and clear. This is plastic. I don't see any maker's mark. Let me get this 
untangled so I can get you up oh, here we go here is a clasp right here hmm I'm wondering if this is a bracelet and a necklace let's let's investigate here nope it is not it is a multi strand I think that this is supposed to clip on to another piece. Nope, there it goes. It's just tied. This is really long. Let's check and see. I thought there was a marking on this. Um, it doesn't look like it. It is an older um, copper tone match, fold over latch. This is really long. This measures in at 54 inches. It's in pretty good condition. Let's do that one for three. All right. 1980s called. <laughs> I wore something like this, but in real gold in the 80s. This is a size seven and a half. This is gold tone, no maker's mark. It's in nice condition. It just needs a little bit of a cleanup. No maker's mark. Let's do that one for five. Okay. Then we got this. This is really pretty. It is not Alex and Ani. This is Believe by Brilliance. It has a cross and some hearts. And I'm not sure what that says on the bottom. Hmm. Something about love, faith, miracles. That is really sweet. It is adjustable. It is silver tone. It's in excellent condition. Let's do this one for five. All right. This is a fun bracelet. Magnetic. Different colored beads. Sea beads. <clears throat> I like these blue flat faceted ones. All right. So it's about a size seven. It's in good condition. It looks like all, all the rhinestones are there. So let's say, oh, no, there's one missing. So let's do this for $2. All right. Next up, this is fun. These are definitely plastic, but these are a fantastic plastic. I love the black and the blue. And these are like a faux wood and then a bone, bone color. How fun is that? It is adjustable. You can tie it here. Let me get you the <clears throat> measurement on this. Okay, so it's 30 inches to the shortest and 32 inches to the longest. Let's do this one at, let's do that at five. All right, we're going to do one more piece and then we will do the rest in part two. So this is fun. This is faceted plastic. They are really pretty. It is a necklace. Here is the clasp. There's some wear, of course, on this piece. Okay, this measures in at 26 inches total. I just noticed this one is a different color than the others, so I don't know if there was a coating on it that was darker and maybe it peeled off, or they made it this way intentional. I do not know. So it's still really pretty. Let's do this for $2. All right, you guys. So that was part one of Box One Goodwill Blue Box, and we will finish the rest in the next video. All right, you guys, if you are interested, email me at timelessjewelbydeborah at gmail.com. All the information I need is right down there. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. It really does help. So thank you so much for being here and be well. And uh, if you are interested, just shoot me that email. I'll talk to you guys soon. Be well. Bye.